we're making an Italian stuffed cabbage. The filling I have for one cabbage, a pound and a half of ground beef, pork, and veal com combined, or just ground beef, uh, or if you wanted to make it vegetarian. Uh, two packages, 12 ounces each of like impossible or a plant-based substitute for me, okay? Then we're going to add to that, it's cooking out with one large onion. Start the onion first with salt and olive oil or olive oil and a little butter. Cook that down. We always salt the onion first to draw its liquids out and get it to be sweet and soft and translucent. That'll probably take about seven, eight minutes. Then you can add the garlic, a few cloves of garlic. Then you can add a little um, meat to the pan and some herbs. Now for the herbs, I used about two tablespoons each. You can use any combo you like. I used rosemary, sage, and parsley. And then we have one cup of rice, par cooked, I should say, five minutes, not the whole cooking time. We combine that rice with the meat mixture and all those fresh herbs. And we add a couple of eggs, it's a binder, and a little Worcestershire. Now I would let this cool, but for you know television's sake, I'm just kind of moving along quickly here. Now for the cabbage, it's hard to see, but you take the core out. This is the Savoy cabbage. You put it into boiling water with salt. Uh, and from the time I put it in the water, you wanna boil it about five, six minutes. So you put the cheesecloth down on your counter. When the cabbage comes out of the water, put it on a dish towel and just let it drain. You know, just turn it upside down, let it hang out, let the leaves fall out a little bit, and then loosen up those outer leaves, okay? Now, when it comes to the core of the cabbage, it will still be a little tough. And if it looks like it's too much or too dense, you can always trim out a little bit of this and add it to soup, ribolita, minestrone, whatever. Pasta. Uh, pastas, uh, uh, pizza caddy, a little later in the week, right? So we're gonna take our filling and work in the leaves that we pull down first and stuff the leaves individually as we go around. You're just filling the cabbage with meat and rice as you're working around this little fella. You're stuffing the cabbage. You are, but you're doing it kind of leaf by leaf. So when you cut into it, it kind of looks a little bit like a layer cake situation. Once we get to the center, obviously you stop, you keep going and going around and around. And then we try and tuck these together. I may need your help here, honey. Okay. No, not to pull the th oh. stuff up. Just give me a second. I don't want to ruin the cabbage. You don't, don't worry about it. I just need to gather the leaves and the cheesecloth at the same time. Maybe you should go on the cheesecloth. Okay. Go on I'm the cheesecloth side. Cheesecloth side. No, no, nope. all of it, sweetheart. All of the cheesecloth. <laughs> okay. Okay. And we go all the way around. And once you get the sucker together, okay. you do this. Wow. Once you get it all together and you put stuffing on all of the leaves you can get to until you can't get to no more, <laughs> <laughs> you take a string and tie the sucker in a knot. The oven is at 350, the rack at center. The bed in the bottom of a big Dutch oven is an onion, a couple of carrots, and a couple of ribs of celery. Salt, pepper, and olive oil, or olive oil and butter, and then add vegetable stock or beef stock to coat the bottom a few cups, two, three cups. That's going to be the cooking liquid and the bed for the giant it really does look kind of like a brain. Did you put a bay leaf in there too? Yes, I put fresh bay leaf in there as well. You love laurel. I do love fresh laurel, yeah. see, see. So I don't even know, this one is so big. It's not gonna fit. We put this in the oven for two hours. Here's what the, the stuffed cabbage looks like. And then you take all of that delicious liquid and the vegetables from the bottom, and you spoon them alongside the portions of the cabbage as people are passing it around the table. 